perfect host always asks, what would you like to drink the moment you walk in the door? A party should be no exception. My name is Shay from Mission 2 Organize. We're going to show you how to set up and stock a functional beverage cart for your next gathering. Done the right way, your party is sure to be a huge success. When deciding where to set up your drink station, be sure to avoid any high traffic areas such as bathrooms or entrances. Now, if your beverage station can be accessed from several different sides, this is fantastic because your guests can make drinks all at the same time rather than waiting in line. Cover the surface that you choose with a nice vinyl tablecloth. Spills are inevitable at just about any party, so this is a great option. You'll want to chill any white wines, mixers, or prepared cocktails at least 24 hours in advance. This is also a fantastic time to cut any of your garnishments. You'll place them in cute little ramekins like we have here, cover them in plastic wrap, and store them in the fridge. Unless you're hosting a themed party, it's a good idea to have a wide variety of drinks available. Now, you probably know whether your friends are wine drinkers or not, but regardless, it's a good idea to have a couple bottles of red and a couple bottles of white on hand just in case. Now, beer is typically a pretty popular option. You'll want to keep that stored in a cooler with some ice and place it in a different location as this particular beverage station. Now, when serving liquor, you'll want to have a couple different mixers on hand. Cranberry juice and tonic water are very popular options. Mixers can also work as non-alcoholic drinks for those who are not indulging. Everyone can stay hydrated at your party when you're sure to have a pitcher of ice water available at all times. The more options, the better. You'll want a variety of glasses at your beverage station. Red wine, white wine, champagne, martini, cocktail, and shot glasses. If you're using plastic cups at your party, be sure to bust out the permanent marker so your guests can personalize their very own glass. These cute wine charms actually work to serve the exact same purpose, to distinguish your glass. White wine and champagne should be chilled on ice. You can do that inside of a cute bucket like the one that we have here. And be sure to have at least one wine opener next to your wine bottles. For beer, you can have a beer opener attached to your cooler with a ribbon or a string. For comfort, you can also provide your guests with beer koozies. Let's go bears! And for your cocktails, you'll want stir sticks or have a couple shakers on hand. Cheers! Just before your first guests arrive, be sure to pull your garnishments and your chilled drinks out of the fridge and fill your ice bucket with ice. If anyone happens to call and ask if they can bring anything, tell them to bring some extra ice just so you're sure you have plenty. Designate a friend, such as your best friend, to be your official helper. That person can fill up the ice, the water, and keep everything refreshed at your beverage station so that you can mingle with your guests. Or you can just hire a bartender. Thank you so much for watching and have a safe and enjoyable party. Bye. We're gonna tell you. Now, it should be chill. No.